One winter's night when the cold wind blew, the engines found it hard to sleep. What we need, suggested Toby, is to listen to a story. Yes, a mysterious story, said Percy. But, said Duck, it must have a happy ending. Driver told me a story, said Thomas. And then all the and then they all listened. Once upon a time, began Thomas. There lived three little engines who lived in their own sheds on their own little railway. Their names were Duke, Stuart, and Falk and Falcon. Duke was the oldest, and he was named after his grace, the Duke of Sodor. And Duke, and he knew he can keep the Stuart and Falcon in order. Then, whatever they did that did what Duke thought wrong, Dick would say, that would never suit his grace. Other engines came and went, but, and, but Duke had outlasted them all. Sometimes the engine, the engine, Duke pulled all the engines, all about it, the engines used to call them grandpas, and they were pounded by that, but however, they were still tired about hearing all about his grace. Sometimes they would tease Duke and they would say, Engines come, engines go, and Grandpa outlast them all. Martin, what are you scallywags are up to? Are you talking about, said Duke? Duke would say, Never mind, Grandpa, we're only young ones. Well, you better mind, unless you want to end up like Smudger. 
Oh, Grandpa, whatever happened? Smudger, said Duke, was a show off. He rode roughly and he often came off the rails. I have warned him to be careful, but he took no notice. Listen, Dookie, said Smudger. Whole worries about a few spills. But we do hear, said Duke, but Smudger just laughed. <laughs> Until what? Till one day, Manager was gonna make him useful at last. Smudger stopped laughing then. Oh, why? What did he do? He turned them into a generator. He's still back there, but he's still out there behind her shed. He's he is still back there behind her shed. He'll never move again. After that, Stuart and Falcon were happy for the rest of the year. Yeah.
and they work all happily together. For many years. And then, hard times came. The mines in the hills closed. And their railway was closed too.
We'll take Stuart and Falcon, said the, the, the visitors came to buy the engines. We will take Stuart and Falcon, they said. No one wanted Duke. They thought him too old. Cheer up, Grandpa, said, said Stuart and Falcon. We would find a nice railway for you to live on, and then you can come and keep us in order. Duke's driver and fireman oiled and greased him one last time. They sheeted him up and and said goodbye. Duke was, went to sleep. Said, oh, well, no, no. oh well, said Duke. Maybe I should go to sleep. It'll help pass the time. Winter torrents washed soil from the hills. Trees and bushes grew all around. No one would know that the sh shed was there. Not alone would let a little engine sleep. That is not a happy ending, said Percy. Can you... T uh, oh, well, well, murmured Thomas. I know we'll tell the rest. I know. Well, murmured Thomas. Percy, but that will have to wait until next time. <laughs>